Oh, hi there. My name is John. I'm a practicum student out at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point. And I'm currently looking for one of my favorite birds out here in Schmeekler Reserve. Unfortunately, they're not easy to find. Now, I've always had a passion for birds, even way back when I was a little kid, looking out the window at the bird feeders, trying to draw them all down and ID them. Now today, you're going to dive into the world of one of my favorite birds, and that bird is the brown creeper. And the brown creeper can be found all around Shmika Reserve. Now today, you're going to learn about their amazing camouflage, even better than me, along with their unique taste and architectural design when it comes to building their homes. And then, of course, tying it all back to their family. Brown creepers are found all throughout North America, as you can see in this map. Now, I kind of want you to think to yourself for a moment and kind of wonder how adaptable they must be in order to thrive in all these areas, whether it's in the United States or even up in Canada. Brown creepers usually prefer pine areas, just like here in Shemeka Reserve, as you can see these white pines behind me. But once winter comes and gets more harsh, just like it always happens in Wisconsin, they'll kind of move back to more hardwood areas like oak, maple, and birch areas. Brown creepers are a very small bird, as you can see in this picture. Brown creepers are only about 5 inches long and about 10 grams. So if you're near a pencil or a pen, I want you to lift it up and just kind of feel it in your hand. That's how big a brown creeper is. Now you're probably wondering what a bird of that size even eats. I'll give you a moment to think. If you thought of insects, you would be right. Now brown creepers, they almost solely eat insects, but if in the winter it gets too harsh, they will resort to suet that's out in bird feeders. Now you're probably trying to wonder how these birds even get their food. You know, they're so tiny, they have to be careful as they migrate along the woods. As you can see this tree behind me, this is actually a smorgasbord for brown creepers. Now what brown creepers do, is they'll start at the base of a tree, right here, and they'll kind of ballerina their way up. So they'll spiral their way up the tree, scouring for food. Now eventually as they reach the top, They'll fly back down to another tree, or even the same tree, and do it again. So they kind of have their own unique way of finding food. Now brown creepers, they also have a really amazing skill that helps them stay safe as they're looking for food. And that would be their camouflage. Their camouflage is even better than the camo that I'm wearing right now. Or even military grade camo, as you can see here. I'm gonna have us play a little game here. And it's kind of like Where's Waldo, except it's gonna be Where's the Brown Creeper. I'm gonna show you a couple of images, and you're gonna have to try and spot the Brown Creeper as fast as you can. Ready? These images alone just prove how these Brown Creepers are able to do so well all throughout North America. Now the brown creepers have one more trick up their sleeves, or should I say wings, out here in Schmeekley Reserve. The brown creepers bring a new creative architectural design to the wild neighborhoods of Schmeekley Reserve. Now when I'm talking about architectural design, I'm talking about how they make their nests. But before I show you their nest, I want you to think of a time and place, whether it's in your own neighborhood or somewhere else, you saw a home that just had everything you ever wanted. It almost made you jealous. Well, if the birds around in Smeeker Reserve ever saw the brown creeper's nest, I think they'll definitely get jealous too. So I'm first going to show you this tree because that's going to involve their nest. I'm going to let you look at this tree and make you kind of think, how could a brown creeper use this tree for its nest? Well, if you mention anything about the bark, you'd be right. Now, I'm going to show you in this image coming up of the overall nest scale of the brown creeper and just show you how creative it is. Now, if you look into this little bark, 
It creates a perfect safe home for the brown creepers to raise their families. And it's kind of hard to see, but the, as I said before, the brown creepers have a back door and front door. And I'm currently looking into the front door of this old nest. Overall, brown creepers have exceptional skills to help them thrive out here at Chemical Reserve. And with these safe nests, they're able to raise their families in a safe, calm environment. Well, I encourage you all to make a personal goal for yourself. It's to come out here in Chemically and try and find some brown creepers. Now remember, they don't like to go to bird feeders a whole lot, so you're not going to go to the bird feeder at the nature center. You're going to have to come out here to the western side of the reserve in the pine areas to find these brown creepers. So I encourage you all, happy birding, and remember to keep those peepers out to find those brown creepers. Where'd you get those peepers?